the biggest takeaways of of things that I liked here um, was was those ancillary weapons, and then just I know that Kincaid is emerged, and I know that Knox's role on this team is more of a blocker right now, and I know I know that when I know Knox is kind of a hot button um, with this franchise. He he's had a history of drops. He's had um some ones that really stick out in the head he's been like an athletic productive tight end for this team and he doesn't have to be you know the greatest tight end ever he doesn't even have to outplay Kincaid I don't think he's at a level where he doesn't still deserve some sort of looks and maybe there's something I don't know here maybe the wrist isn't as healed up as they like maybe he's still you know struggling with that in practice and it's not like josh allen throws the softest of balls so maybe there's something there that um i'm not really aware of but when he was out we saw you know quentin johnston or quentin morris getting targets um i, I just think that if he's going to be out there uh, his physical abilities, the fact that he can be a little bit of an afterthought here now with Diggs on one side, Kincaid emerging, um, James Cook being a weapon in the passing game. It just seems like there's some opportunities there. Um, and then last thing, uh, Joe Brady. Uh, I think kind of like the, the honeymoon phase is over and now we're into you know this is what everyday life is going to look like and the last couple games haven't been good enough and there's just got to be some adjustments there and we we myself included first couple games offense looked back on track give this dude oc right now like just make it permanent um if we look back at the last couple weeks I might be backtracking on that a little bit. Um, I have a little bit of grace for him in this game. Just going against, you know, you just became an offensive coordinator, whatever, five weeks ago. Um, trying to plan an offense around probably the greatest defensive coach of all time. I don't expect perfection. Uh, but when you have a game that your defense gave you the ball back four times. They contributed a pick six. Um, you got outgained by New England having the bottom offense in the whole league. Um, your $40 million franchise quarterback, Josh Allen, uh, has less passing yards than Bailey Zappi. You only have 24 more rushing yards than... New England, it's just, it's not enough. And this is, again, giving some grace that, you know, it's a good defense. It's a good defensive coach. Um, but as we're looking forward to the next, at least next week, maybe into the postseason, there's got to be some different answers. There's got to be, you know, I, I feel like beginning of the season, Dorsey, it was, you know, forcing digs too much and it was like yeah digs can have this great stat line but we're not you know finishing games um now it's kind of gone the other way like yeah we're winning games but without digs yeah, we have to marry those two ideas um i liked early in the game we we forced a touch where digs was taking a carry out of shotgun if that's what you got to do some bubble screens whatever he needs to be involved in the game 